Through the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings, and giver of life, come and dwell in us, and cleanse us from every impurity, and save Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and our God. <laughs> Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Prisoners. 
Let your mercy, Lord, be upon us as we have put our hope in you. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. Praise be fits the upright. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Readings from the first epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, for I think that God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, like men sentenced to death, because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to men. We are fools for the sake of Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To the present hour we hunger and thirst. We are ill-clad and buffeted and homeless, and we labor, working with our own hands. When we vile, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we try to conciliate. We have become, and are now, as the waste of the world, the scum of all. I do not write this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved brethren. For though you have countless guides in Christ, you do not have any fathers. For I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. I urge you then, be imitators of me.
one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by your word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pontiac and Ministry, who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, especially Father Daniel, Matushka Myra, Matushka Janet, Matushka Catherine, the monk Melenius, Stephen, Ross, Denise, Denise, Barbara, Margaret, Susan, Alarian, Rosemary, Charles, Charles, Rita, Terence, Terence, Hank, Nicholas, Nancy, all those afflicted with the coronavirus throughout the world, and all those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, and those we cannot call to mind and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pablo Lehman Ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, for Helen, George, Julia, John, Stephen, Gloria, and Mark, for the newly departed Margaret and Maria, and all those we cannot call to mind, and all those who have departed this life throughout the ages, in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, in your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life for Christ our God. To you we send up glory with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life bringing spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. as we forgive the 
Amen. In giving. 